<laughs> Tom, Wayne, thanks for having us here today to ask you a few questions about nope. the award you won. The Hidden Gem Award, I believe it was. It was. So, Tell me about your role here at SESMA. What is it you do then, Tom? Um, okay, so I'm the head instructor um, of SESMA. So I teach Little Dragons, uh, Junior Karate, through to the Adult Karate and the Junior and Adult Kickboxing. Um, on top of that, with some of our junior instructors, I train them up to become some of our future instructors as well. Um, so they teach with me um, and I assess them, teach them new ways of doing things and then give them a go at teaching on their own with my guidance. Um, to develop them uh, into future instructors. Brilliant. And Wayne, why is it that you nominated Tom for the Hidden Gem Award? Um, as well as he takes quite a lot of sort of stress away from me. <clears throat> Being a school owner, you don't get to teach as much. Of course. Uh, you, there's a lot of paperwork. So I've been out having to teach and do all the paperwork. It's just too time consuming. Um, and then finding someone that has the same feeling about martial arts and so your same views or how should I say that martial arts being part of you, you know, so if you are at martial arts as such mm -hmm. it's very hard. Mm -hmm. Would and you say it's having the right team around you is, is crucial to running a successful oh, martial arts most business? Most definitely but then having a team that you can rely on is very hard and then having that just that one person who you don't have to worry about so I can say Tom, I'm going on holiday for a week. I can just walk away and not worry. But I know it's in safe hands. It's not going to go see. I'm not going to lose students. They're not going to get a phone call saying so the instructor hasn't turned up. I know he can run it like I would want to run. It's hard to find in any business, right? Not it just is. martial arts. That's it. Yeah. Definitely. And cool. And I don't think it's very hard to acknowledge or show acknowledgement to someone. Yeah, how much you appreciate them. So that's, that's why this award was just the right thing for him. Brilliant. And Tom, what have you been doing since the awards? Because it's about half a year ago now. So. Yeah, so um, still been doing a lot of teaching. Um, obviously, I teach three, three days a week um, from 4 p.m. through till 9 uh, during the week and then on Saturday morning. So obviously, we've had um, black belt grading since then. So we've now got some more junior black belts uh, that I'm trying to get into teaching. Um, we've got a couple um, that are still preparing for the black belt, so putting a lot of work into those also as well. So you've got family as well, you've got a but, sword or child and then yeah, got so another one on the way. I have, so, uh, so I've got another child on the way as well. Um, so it has been busy. Very busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure where you can find the time to actually have these children. <laughs> <laughs> He's got time for that, he yeah. needs to be down here more. <laughs> yeah. Bouncing um, work and home, always challenging, always it difficult. Does. But um, luckily, I've got a supportive wife. <laughs> so who... that, that is that is a key to it as well, isn't it? It's not yeah. just that's what I find with myself with Sue, um, having someone that would, oh, comes second to every to martial arts. Find that person who is happy to be there and um, stay supportive for the whole for the yeah. whole. And, and for the know whole that martial the martial arts or your studio comes first. Sadly, sometimes when running a business, yeah, that's, that, that's how it can be. But, yeah, but I, I know Sue very well and she's very supportive of, of this, the, yeah, this whole business Sue, in yourself and, and everything. Finding someone who's got the same ethos as myself and having a wife is the same, <laughs> it is very rare, isn't it? So thinking about that with uh, the home life and, and business life, is, is there anything knowing now, what would you do differently as far as building up to the award goes for the hidden gem? Oh. Um, it's a difficult question, that yeah. one, but I like to ask it. Did you think, is there anything where you went, oh, I wish I did this instead of that, or I should have known this then? Or... Well, when, when I first started martial arts, I was only nine, and I tried it before, um, mm -hmm. when I was about six or seven, um, and I only wish that I had picked it up even earlier than what I have. Mm -hmm. So obviously now I've been doing martial arts for, my maths isn't great, for 21 years. So I only wish that I'd done it longer. <laughs> yeah, I can agree with that. Three years in it, and I was just not ready in your life at that point, is it? Yeah. <laughs> cool. So what, what are your plans for the future? What's driving you forward? <laughs> uh, so obviously continue teaching as much as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, support um, Wayne and Sue with moving the business forwards, gaining new students, retaining the students, um, and thrive to make, make us a bigger, better martial arts school than we already are. Definitely. Cool. Like the sound of that.
And for, for myself, at the time, there would be, be up for myself to then Sue to step further back and allow Tom to bloom more as such and let him change a few things if they need to be done. Mm -hmm. Not be so restrictive. So cool. Then he takes even more control. <laughs> so, so normally I would ask you at this point, I'd say, do you think you'd be in line to win next year? But like Wayne says, is he's going to let you step out of the shadows now. Is You're not hidden gem anymore. You're out there, everyone knows who you are. So, <laughs> well, so to, I don't think this this is going to be an award you can win again, is it? To, to be fair, to win it the first time was, you know, a, a shock, you know, given the amount of awesome martial artists that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, and to be even nominated it is like an honour. Um, so to receive the award was an even greater, greater honour. So if you could give some advice to any other hidden gems out there who are potential winners for next year, what do you think it would be? Enjoy what you do. Um, thrive in everything that every lesson that you teach um just be confident out there believe in yourself which is one thing that, I've, that i'm not great at um but i keep getting told that i need to um yeah just believe in yourself is the, is the Brilliant. biggest thing and finally i know you guys were there last year or this year i should say at the uh, the nest martial arts awards will we be seeing you in 2023 Definitely. Definitely. That's what I did. I, you're always there, aren't you, Wayne? So we can't get rid of you. It's like a bad penny. <laughs> I think I've been a fixture about the last six, seven years. So, yeah, no, definitely. Brilliant. Gents, that's been great. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you.